like a box of chocolates. You, you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, my name is the Interministerial Commissary for Pandemic Influenza Preparedness Planning. Uh, in day one, you start your communication with the press. You have to be omnipresent that first day or the first days so that you attract the media attention. Uh, you have to use every opportunity you can get to, uh, well, it's not Britannia rules the waves, but rule the airwaves to, uh, to bring out your, uh, your message. And if they call, you will pick up the phone. When you do that, then you can profit from these early days to, uh, to get complete carpet coverage. And they're not going to search for alternative voices there. And then you convey the message, and you can do that if you do it that way, that our country is ready for a pandemic. That is a gross uh, overestimation for sure. <laughs> and then you have to say, okay, well, we will have H1N1 deaths. Of course, that would be unavoidable. That is true in every year, even interpandemically. <laughs> that, that, that is very, very conservative. However, talking about fatalities is important because when you say that, people say, wow, what do you mean? People die because of influenza? A couple of days later, you had the first uh, H1N1 death in the country. And the scene was set and it was already talked about. I went to the first couple of funerals. It, it, it shows that you care. And then the vacation came. That was pictures that my father took from uh, the holiday with the grandchildren and... Uh, kind of, uh, 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 and then comes the time, uh, inevitably, that they, they, they're going to talk about you. The flu commissioner is a really a great guy. And then you, then you get the feel-good articles eh, about, yeah, what does he like, uh, what music does he like, pictures from my first laboratory when I was 13 years old. Uh, and it's all feel good. And then, then your, your personal life, your, your personal life becomes uh, a little bit compromised. And, uh, and so are we ready for the, uh, for the next pandemic? I don't think we are. But I would say that pandemics are like a box of chocolates. You, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, thank you.